What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, uh, the video you're watching now is the aftermath of the attack by men suspected to be ESN. They call these guys the unknown gun men. The unknown gun men have been terrorizing the entire southeast. I mean, government infrastructure and security operatives are not safe. Just some um, uh, two weeks ago, four naval officers were gone down and a number of police officers have been killed by the unknown gunmen. Who are these unknown gunmen? We are going to look at it. In the previous video I made, I, I was able to prove that it is ESN, but uh, some people actually kicked against it that it's not ESN and all of that. What proof do I have and all of that? So we shall be looking at this later on in this video but for now uh the extent of damage that is actually uh cut that was that was carried on carried out in this emo state headquarter of police it's so alarming guys in fact at the end of the video this is going to blow your mind i don't think the police will um will actually recover from this because the mode as we this guy burned down this police station it's it's what they will not be able to counter. For instance, they use petrol bomb. And you can remember the aftermath of the NSAS, how police stations around the country were all burnt down. They, they, it is petrol bomb they use. Now, how do you actually counter that? When somebody from a distance uses petrol bomb and throw it on your roof, how do you counter it? Fire savings in this country is another thing. I don't want to, wouldn't want to discuss about that. You know, so this is so shocking. People are reacting, and people are what people are saying is that if the police, who is supposed to guide integrity and also make sure that there is security within the country, if they cannot protect themselves, that means Nigerian is done. We are done. We are done because this kind of situation whereby a whole headquarter is supposed to be intelligent units. In fact. I expect that with the spate of attack on police station, the police unit are supposed to. Do they want to hear it from my mouth? They are supposed to have a drone. Yeah, they're supposed to have a drone that will that, that, that will fly around the environment scanning any signature of an early warning attack. But did they do it? No. Now the police have direct they have unit of intelligence. Now, let me just tell you this. Sometimes if you go to some of these police station at night you only see only just four police officers on duty now how wouldn't they be vulnerable to attack why wouldn't they imagine the extent of this damage look at all these cars just imagine look at the extent of the damage just imagine most of them might even be vehicles that were that were impounded you know people's vehicles that were impounded that people have not yet come to claim so it's such a shame that um, a whole police headquarter. In fact, what were they? Why didn't they even send for SOS from other police units, the Mopol, or even the military? Why didn't they? You see, there is something. Something is all wrong about this country. This country is not working, and this country is fucked up. Something of this magnitude. There is supposed to be a coordination. Yes, yeah, that's supposed to be coordination because now, okay, for instance, okay, let's take a, a swipe at the government's own security. You see, this is Imo State. Imo State has their own security force. If I'm not mistaken, why Imo State, but I know Abia State have, they have their own. Another state also have their own. Now, what were these security apparatus? What I mean, security outfit? What were they doing? Police stations have been a subject of attack, you know. Um, recently, number of police have been killed. What were, what are they doing to counter this? What are they actually doing? So, guys, watch this video. See the extent of the damage. It's going to be, in fact, is appalling. Just watch this video, and then I'll be back with more analysis.
Ja, das ist ja so viel We are here to get information from us about what has just happened. I just want to put it across to you that uh, there was an attack at the World Postal Center very early this morning, around 2.15 a.m. So you can see the extent of the damage so far. You can see our bunk uh, vehicles and uh, the thing affected the building. However, I want to assure you people that at the appropriate time, when we get our facts together, we'll be able to address you on this issue. So please keep always keep in touch. We'll brief you at the appropriate time. No, we are yet to confirm exactly what happened. But uh, like I said, at the appropriate time, we must have gotten all the information ready. We will address you on all. But well, you should be able to identify that person. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he uh, an well, official as, or as, an as, inmate? As I've just said it. I will address that issue at the appropriate time. Let us. Okay, the whole so, thing is still okay, sketchy. So, are, are, so, so are the inmates intact, or are there some that are missing? I said I will address people at the appropriate time on all these issues. So by the time, I said I will address people at the appropriate time. Just take it from me. Like I told you, some of these vehicles were burnt, so fire service came to, you know, assist the much they, you know, can to stop the fire from, you know, causing more damages. So that's it. All right, guys, so now the question is, who are these unknown gone men? Who are they? Now, let's look at this very well. If IPOB says they are not the one, now they cannot say they are not the one, then who are these guys? Why not unmask these guys? If this is another unit, if this is another body, I think by now, now they kind of would have unraveled them because a lot of what Biafran guys are saying here is that um, that Biafrans cannot be destroying their own uh, country. They cannot be destroying. But you know that there have been series of fights between the military or between the government and ESN. Yes. And there was a time that they can't say any police checkpoint that is discovered that they should report to this social number that they will wipe out the police from there. They will kill the police. And there have been series of killing of police. And yet somebody is saying that it is not it is not um IPOB, you know. So that is what we are saying. So what do you guys actually think? What the hell is going on? Who are the people responsible for this? Please, I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Amakam TV. God bless you.